In this lesson, you'll learn how to set up and charge cancellation fees. You can now securely tokenize a client's credit card details and charge a cancellation fee to their card in the event that they no-show or cancel. If you've already connected your Stripe account with Shortcuts, then you can skip the console setup steps and go straight to the Shortcuts Fusion setup steps. Otherwise, you'll need to log into the console and click on Site Settings. If you have multiple sites, select a site. Then scroll down to the Online Payments section. Click here to connect to your Stripe account. Once you've signed into your Stripe account, click here to allow shortcuts to connect. Once your Stripe account has been connected, you'll no longer see the Connect to Stripe button. Next, you'll need to set up cancellation fees within Shortcuts Fusion. To do this, go to the Setup menu and select Configuration. Then click on General and select Appointment Book. At the top of the screen, click on the Cancellation Fees tab. Tick this box to enable cancellation fees. Then enter a minimum booking value. If a client's appointment value is equal to or less than the minimum booking value, they will not be charged a cancellation fee. Enter the number of hours prior to an appointment a client is required to give notice of a cancellation. Next, enter the cancellation fee you want to charge if the client doesn't provide enough notice when they cancel. This can either be a percentage of the service value or a fixed amount. If you enter a value in both fields, the greater of the two will be applied as a fee. If you also wish to charge a smaller cancellation fee for clients who cancel prior to the minimum notice period, you can set up a secondary cancellation fee here. Please update the terms and conditions to ensure that they reflect your business policies. Once you've finished customizing these settings, press Done. If we go back to the appointment book, you'll notice that you now have the ability to request a client's credit card details via the appointment touch tip. This option will appear when you click on an existing appointment or create a new appointment. When you select this option, a request for the client's credit card details will be sent via SMS and email. You'll also notice that half of the appointment changes to orange. This indicates that the client's credit card details are currently pending. At this stage, the client will click on the link within the SMS or email to view the terms and conditions and enter their credit card details, which will be securely stored by Stripe. When the client presses Send Now, their appointment will return to a normal color, indicating that their credit card details have now been captured. Now if we click on the appointment and select Credit Card Details, we can see the details here. Now I'll show you how to process a cancellation fee. In the event of a cancellation, right-click on the appointment and press Delete. Here you'll see the amount that will be charged to the client as a cancellation fee. You'll then need to enter a note and select the reason for the cancellation. To view cancelled appointments, select the Appointment Book menu, then press Cancellations. You can select the relevant date range here, then tick the Charge Cancellation box and press Process. Press Yes to confirm. The cancellation fee will then be charged against the client's card. The client will receive a receipt informing them that they've been charged a cancellation fee. Cancellation fees will be visible within the client's history as well as your transaction list at the point of sale. Now that you know how to set up and charge cancellation fees, you can reduce the number of cancellations and no-shows in your business. Thank you.